Ladies and gentlemen, today we delve into the timeless art of setting and achieving goals. Let me begin by sharing with you a profound truth. Your goals are the blueprint of your destiny. They are the guiding stars that illuminate your path, the compass that directs your journey, and the fuel that propels you toward your dreams. Without clear, compelling goals, life becomes a drifting ship tossed aimlessly by the winds of circumstance. But with well-defined goals, you become the master navigator of your fate, charting a course of purpose and fulfillment. Now, my friends, let us unveil the secrets to setting and achieving goals that will revolutionize your life. Starting with number one, clarity is key. The first step in the journey of goal achievement is to gain absolute clarity on what you desire. Define your goals with crystal clear precision. What do you want to achieve? Why do you want to achieve it? The more vividly you can articulate your goals, the more powerfully they will pull you toward them. 2. Dream big, start small. Dare to dream audaciously, for it is the dreamers who shape the course of history. Envision the grandest version of your life and let that vision fuel your ambition. But remember, every towering skyscraper begins with a single brick. Break down your dreams into manageable, actionable steps and start with the smallest of tasks. Progress, no matter how incremental, is still progress. 3. Commitment is non-negotiable. Great achievements require unwavering commitment. Make a solemn vow to yourself that you will pursue your goals with relentless determination, no matter the obstacles that may arise. Let your commitment be a burning flame that illuminates the darkest of nights and propels you forward in the face of adversity. 4. Embrace failure as feedback. In the pursuit of your goals, you will inevitably encounter setbacks and failures. But remember, failure is not fatal, but rather feedback. It is the universe's way of course correcting your journey, guiding you toward greater wisdom and resilience. Embrace failure as a natural part of the learning process and let it fuel your determination to press onward. 5. Visualize success daily. The power of visualization cannot be overstated. Take time each day to vividly imagine yourself achieving your goals. See it, feel it, taste it with every fiber of your being. Visualization not only strengthens your belief in your ability to succeed but also programs your subconscious mind to seek out opportunities that align with your desires. 6. Surround yourself with champions. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Surround yourself with individuals who uplift, inspire, and challenge you to be your best self. Seek out mentors who have walked the path of success before you and learn from their wisdom. Let the collective energy of your tribe propel you toward greatness. 7. Take massive action. Dreams without action are nothing but wishful thinking. To achieve your goals, you must take bold, decisive action. Do not wait for the perfect moment or for all the stars to align. Ease the present moment with courage and conviction and let your actions speak louder than your words. 8. Stay focused, stay flexible. The road to success is rarely a straight line. It twists and turns, presenting unforeseen challenges and opportunities along the way. Stay focused on your ultimate destination but remain flexible in your approach. Adapt to changing circumstances, pivot when necessary, but never lose sight of your overarching goals. 9. Celebrate every victory. In the pursuit of your goals, it's easy to get caught up in the relentless pursuit of the next milestone. But remember to pause, take a breath, and celebrate every victory along the way. Whether big or small, each achievement is a testament to your strength and perseverance. Let it fuel your confidence as you press onward toward even greater heights. 10. Never stop growing. The pursuit of goals is not a destination but a lifelong journey of growth and self-discovery. Commit yourself to a path of continuous learning and improvement. Cultivate new skills, expand your knowledge, and embrace challenges as opportunities for personal evolution. The moment you stop growing is the moment you stagnate. 11. Give back. Along the way, as you ascend the ladder of success, remember to extend a helping hand to those who are still climbing. True fulfillment comes not only from achieving your own goals, but also from lifting others up and making a positive impact on the world. Share your wisdom, your resources, and your love generously, and watch as the ripples of your kindness echo throughout eternity. Which leads me to my last point. 
Why is personal development so crucial to our journey through life? Allow me to illuminate this truth with unwavering clarity. 1. The power of potential. Within each and every one of us lies untapped reservoirs of potential waiting to be unleashed. Personal development is the key that unlocks these dormant powers, enabling us to transcend our limitations and achieve greatness. As we invest in our own growth and self-improvement, we expand the boundaries of what is possible, propelling ourselves toward ever greater heights of success and fulfillment. 2. The Pursuit of Purpose Life without purpose is like a ship without a rudder, adrift on the vast ocean of existence. Personal development provides us with the compass by which to navigate our journey, guiding us toward a deeper sense of meaning and fulfillment. By clarifying our values, identifying our passions, and aligning our actions with our highest aspirations, we discover a profound sense of purpose that infuses every aspect of our lives with meaning and significance. 3. The Path to Mastery Mastery is not a destination but a journey, a relentless pursuit of excellence that requires lifelong dedication and commitment. Personal development is the pathway to mastery, offering us the tools, techniques, and insights necessary to continually refine our skills and deepen our understanding. Whether in our professional endeavors, our personal relationships, or our spiritual practices, the quest for mastery fuels our growth and propels us toward ever greater levels of proficiency and expertise. 4. The Promise of Progress Progress is the lifeblood of personal development the tangible evidence of our commitment to growth and improvement. As we strive to become the best possible versions of ourselves, we experience a steady stream of progress that serves as a source of motivation and inspiration. Whether it's learning a new skill, overcoming a challenge, or breaking through a barrier, each step forward reaffirms our belief in our own potential and empowers us to continue our journey with renewed vigor and determination. 5. The Pursuit of Happiness Ultimately, personal development is not just about achieving external success or attaining material wealth. It's about cultivating a deep and abiding sense of happiness and fulfillment that transcends the trappings of the world. By nurturing our minds, bodies, and spirits, we create the conditions for true happiness to flourish, fostering a sense of inner peace, contentment, and joy that radiates outward and enriches every aspect of our lives. My friends, as we embark on this journey of personal development together, let us embrace the challenges that lie ahead with courage and conviction. Let us commit ourselves wholeheartedly to the pursuit of excellence, knowing that the rewards of our efforts will far outweigh the sacrifices we make along the way. And let us never forget that the greatest investment we can ever make is in ourselves. For in the end, it is not the external accolades or achievements that define us, but the depth of character and the richness of spirit that we cultivate within. So let us rise to the challenge, my friends, and unleash the full potential that lies within us. Let us embark on this journey of personal development with open hearts and open minds, knowing that the greatest adventure of our lives awaits us just beyond the horizon. Together, let us strive for excellence, pursue our passions, and fulfill our highest potential. For in doing so, we will not only transform our own lives but also inspire others to do the same. Setting goals is a crucial part of our lives. However, very few people have a consistent plan for setting, rearranging, evaluating, and strengthening their goals. If you do this, you will be among the few who do, becoming the envy of all who watch. Working hard on setting goals, putting together a plan, Constantly evaluating and rearranging them, and regularly discussing them will elevate you to the top 5% of achievers. This process is fundamental for major life changes and success. A constant plan for setting, rearranging, evaluating, and strengthening your goals is essential. We need to look into the future and design it well. The future, known as the promise, can be a powerful force for your own success. There are two ways to face the future with apprehension or with anticipation. Most people face it with apprehension because they haven't designed it well and leave it to someone else to fix. The best way to face the future is with anticipation, which you can achieve if the future is clear and well designed. Setting goals is simple. First, decide what you want. Take some time to sit down and think about what you want in terms of skills, income, places to visit, habits to acquire, and people you'd like to meet. Once you've thought about your future, make a list. Write everything down. 
This process is simple yet powerful. Get together with your family, spouse, children, or business colleagues and make goal setting a fundamental part of your life. Constantly setting, rearranging, evaluating, and strengthening your goals is the first fundamental for success. A clear picture of what you intend to do with your current resources is also crucial. Most people already have something, time, resources, money, or a paycheck. The big question is what are you doing with it? How are you investing it? First, you need to understand society and money, how to earn it, where to get it, and the importance of managing it. Children should be taught from a young age what to do with money. If a child spends a dollar immediately, they develop poor habits. If these habits continue, they will likely manage their finances poorly as adults. The plans we learn as children often follow us throughout our lives. Teaching money management includes understanding where to put your money. We teach the importance of saving and investing, the care and feeding of the goose that lays the golden eggs. Being a responsible taxpayer, contributing to financial institutions so successful people can start businesses and employ more people, and giving to charity are all essential. It's crucial to have a management plan for your current resources, so that at age 65, you don't wind up like most people, broke. You wind up with substance, plenty to share, and plenty to enjoy. You need a plan for using all of your present resources wisely. Everyone needs a consistent plan for gathering knowledge, going to the library, attending lectures and seminars. Most people get ideas sporadically, or when someone happens to come by, or when they read a book that might have beneficial ideas. When you listen to a sermon, make sure you have your journal to take notes. Wherever you go, gather knowledge purposefully, consistently, daily. We need a consistent plan for reading books. Most people read haphazardly or not at all lacking a good plan for reading the right books. The man who reads comics instead of classics misses out on things that could truly benefit his life because he doesn't have a plan. Remember, good ideas rarely interrupt you. They must be pursued. Seek them out, and if you search, you will find. A consistent plan for gathering knowledge, reading books, attending lectures, and capturing ideas in a journal is fundamental. Following this will place you in the top 5%. Very few people have a consistent plan for gathering knowledge. You want to be one of the few. You need a detailed plan for the use of your work time, a game plan. Most people design tomorrow, next week, and next month in their heads, or they don't think that far ahead. They think about getting up and going to work, and that's it. But you need a game plan for financial independence, work time, and personal time. The family needs a game plan to ensure you don't miss important things essential for your life and success. Everyone, kids, mom, dad, needs a game plan. You need a business game plan, a game plan for your office if you're in business, a detailed plan for the use of your work time. In leadership seminars, we discuss how to put together a detailed plan for the day, week, and month, stretching out a plan for six months to a year. In global business, detailed plans are crucial. Without them, you'll miss something. A detailed plan for your work time will place you in the top 5% because most people don't have one. When I was 25, a mentor told me, Jim, to do better, you've got to get around the right people. Associating with people who can better your life and lifestyle makes a significant difference. An association of people with common interests in progress, success, and philosophy is invaluable. Never underestimate the power of influence. Someone might say, I live here, but it doesn't bother me, but that's not true. Whoever you're around exerts some influence on your life. Make plans to get around the right people, those who talk about positive ideas and philosophy. Just hearing the latest joke won't help. You need to be around people who read, are successful, and are growing and changing. Otherwise, your influence will be in the wrong direction. While you might have to be around some negative influences, you must counterbalance this by associating with the right people, those who encourage growth and positive change. People who can help change your life. To improve your life, consistently associate with the right people. This means engaging regularly with individuals who can support your growth financially, personally, spiritually, and socially. This kind of association can elevate you significantly. Consider this. 
How many people have a circle of friends who share common interests in progress, success, ideas, and philosophy? Very few, but you can be one of those few. Mr. Shelf taught me this valuable lesson when I met him at age 25. He called it lifestyle learning. It's about continuously planning ways to live uniquely and enjoying your present circumstances. Learning how to live well is crucial. It would be unfortunate to earn a lot of money but not improve your personality, lifestyle, or uniqueness. Imagine a man in a half million dollar home who still has a $5,000 mindset. That would be pitiful. Mr. Shelf taught me about the importance of lifestyle skills. One of the simplest lessons was about tipping. Coming from a small farm community, I had no idea what tip meant. He explained that it stands for to ensure promptness. You should give a tip up front to ensure good service, not wait to see if the service was good. Sophisticated people ensure they get good service by tipping up front. This is just one aspect of learning how to live well, how to enjoy your family, your money, your time, and your thoughts. It's about anticipating your family's needs joyfully, not resentfully, and taking great delight in your current resources. Many people believe they would be happier with more money. However, happiness requires more than money. It's something you have to work on separately. One of the most important lessons in life is that you can learn almost anything. Whether it's learning new languages or developing various skills, ensure you have a plan and a timetable for personal development. Don't settle for less than you can be. At the end of your life, you don't want to realize you only lived a fraction of your potential because you didn't take the time to develop your skills. Discipline is essential for personal development, but it's worth it. Attend classes and take every opportunity to develop skills like leadership, diplomacy, language, and business. Plan for your personal growth. Keeping an old list of goals has served me well. When I look back at the goals I set 10 or 20 years ago, I smile at what I once thought was important. Some of those goals aren't even relevant anymore because I've grown and changed. Here's my advice. Decide what you want. Write it down. Keep your old lists. And when you achieve something, check it off. Part of the fun of having a list is checking off the completed goals. And if you can add some drama to checking it off, that's what really helps. I set a goal to go to Spain many years ago. When I finally made my first trip to Spain, I had that journal with me, the one that had my goal list. As I sat with my journal on my lap, waiting for the plane to touch down in Madrid, I waited until the wheels hit the runway and then checked it off. Adding a little drama made the moment more special. Part of the fun of having a list is checking things off. Here's why lists and designing your future are important. When your future is clear, the price you need to pay becomes easier. Remember, for every promise, there's a price to pay. Everyone has to pay the price, everyone has to do the work, and everyone has to be disciplined. But here's what I found. If the promise is clear and powerful, the price is easier to pay. Setting goals is hard work. I know it's work, and that's why many people let it slide. Many people work hard at their jobs but don't work hard on their future. They just let that slide. The work involved is in making plans. Most people don't do this, but don't let that be you. Some might say, well, you work where I work. By the time you get home, it's late. You have to eat dinner, watch a little TV, and then go to bed. You can't stay up half the night planning. These people might be good workers, sincere and hardworking, but you have to be more than that. You have to be a good planner. Someone once wisely said, people who fail to plan are planning to fail. Put your goals in your journal because one of the major people you want to study is yourself. Keep lists of your goals from different periods. Study your accomplishments and your desires and write them down. This shows you are serious about doing better. To do better, you must get serious. You don't have to be grim, but you must be serious. I used to have an affliction called passive hope. It's bad, but even worse is happy hope. That's really bad. So, get serious about your goals. Write them down. There are all kinds of goals. Financial independence goals, family goals, and many others. If you don't start working on them, time will pass, and five years from now, you'll find yourself where you don't want to be, doing what you don't want to do. Now is the time to fix it. Remember, your goals are affecting you, whatever they are. Your goals affect your handshake, your attitude, your personality, the way you walk, talk, and dress. 
All day long, you are being affected by your goals. Some people have goals, but if they have lousy goals, the effect is bad. I once asked a guy what his goals were for the month. He said, if I could just scrape up enough money to pay these lousy bills. That was his goal. It's a goal, but it's a lousy one. The effect is bad. You don't jump out of bed on Monday morning excited to scrape up money to pay your bills. Instead, you dread another Monday. Some people have given up so much on life that they've joined the Thank God It's Friday club. How sad. Everybody hopes things will get better. But hope alone doesn't make the future better. It gets better by planning. Setting goals is a crucial aspect of our life's journey. Few people consistently plan to set, rearrange, evaluate, and fortify their goals. By doing so, you will be among the minority who undertake this endeavor, earning admiration from those observing. During the leadership seminar, we devised a comprehensive 10-year plan encompassing business, personal, family, economic, and financial independence goals. This practice is foundational. Diligently working on setting, planning, re-evaluating, and adjusting goals will, in my view, position you within the top echelons. If you aspire for significant life changes and success, maintaining a perpetual plan to set, adjust, evaluate, and fortify your goals is essential. Avoid aiming too low and associating with an easy crowd. Instead, seek environments where expectations, demands, and pressures propel growth, change, development, reading, studying, and skill enhancement. Belonging to a small group engaged in global business operations reveals astonishing expectations. The standards of excellence we hold for each other transcend the ordinary, fostering an environment where unprecedented contributions and growth flourish, a phenomenon we refer to as living at the summit. It's imperative to immerse oneself where demands and expectations are high, catalyzing personal evolution and progress urgently. Embrace the necessity for continual growth and change over the next few years, avoiding the trap of setting goals too conservatively. Deliberate reflection on the future is essential. It must be meticulously designed. This concept, referred to as the promise, is a cornerstone of our leadership series. Designing the future holds immense power, a force that can shape one's destiny profoundly. Facing the future can be approached with either apprehension or anticipation. In my global travels, I've observed that many confront the future with apprehension due to its lack of intentional design. Embracing anticipation empowers individuals to proactively shape their destinies. Setting goals is a straightforward process. Decide what you want. Take the time to reflect on various aspects of your life, skills, income, places to visit, habits to acquire, and so forth. Once you've identified your aspirations, make a list and refine it as needed. Ensure that your goals span different time frames, one year, three years, five years, and ten years, with each goal clearly articulated along with the reasons behind them. Transfer this information to a journal or notebook to track your progress and maintain clarity on your journey towards achieving them. To ensure effective goal management, it's vital to keep a readily accessible record of your goals that you can refer to frequently. Allocate time each week to review, adjust, and potentially overhaul your goals. Goal setting is an ongoing process. It requires continual refinement and adaptation. Additionally, monitoring your progress is crucial to prevent falling behind or losing sight of important objectives. Short-term goals are as significant as long-term ones. They serve as confidence boosters and milestones toward larger aspirations. Compile a list of short-term goals for the upcoming year, categorized by week or month, according to your preference. Checking off accomplished tasks each week provides a sense of achievement and progress. Celebrate both minor and major milestones. Acknowledging progress fosters growth and resilience. Embracing challenges and surrounding yourself with high expectations and pressure promotes personal development and achievement. Avoiding complacency and seeking environments where performance is paramount fosters growth and resilience. What I emphasize is the necessity for a consistent strategy in acquiring knowledge. Many individuals gather ideas sporadically, relying on chance encounters or random readings. Instead, actively seek out opportunities to learn, whether through attending lectures, seminars, or regular visits to the library. 
Take notes diligently during sermons or other learning opportunities to retain and reflect on acquired knowledge. Gathering knowledge should be deliberate and consistent, a daily practice rather than a sporadic occurrence. Unfortunately, many individuals approach reading in a haphazard manner, if at all. Lacking a well-defined plan, they may overlook valuable resources and opportunities for growth. For instance, someone might opt for comic books over literary classics, missing out on enriching experiences due to a lack of intentional reading habits. The absence of a plan can lead one to overlook opportunities that could greatly enrich their life. It's a valuable reminder that good ideas must be actively pursued, they won't simply present themselves. To uncover these ideas, one must actively seek them out, as the proverb states, Seek and you shall find. Establishing a consistent plan for gathering knowledge, including reading, attending lectures, and organizing thoughts in a journal, is a fundamental practice. Following such a plan sets individuals apart, placing them among the select few who prioritize intentional growth and development. Remarkably few individuals maintain a consistent plan for knowledge acquisition. Striving to be among this minority is essential. Developing a detailed game plan for managing work time is crucial. Many people limit their planning to the immediate future, failing to consider the broader scope of their goals and activities. However, implementing a comprehensive plan ensures that important tasks and objectives are not overlooked. A game plan isn't just essential for work. It extends to all aspects of life, including personal and family time. By proactively planning, one can avoid missing out on valuable opportunities that contribute to a fulfilling and successful life. Parents, professionals, and individuals alike benefit from having a comprehensive game plan. Whether it's managing household responsibilities, running a business, or navigating office dynamics, a detailed plan for utilizing work time is indispensable. In our leadership seminars, we delve into crafting such plans for daily, weekly, monthly, and even yearly timeframes. From our global business experiences, we've learned the importance of meticulous planning to avoid oversights. Having a well-structured plan for work time sets individuals apart, positioning them among the top performers. Mr. Shaw once shared invaluable advice with me when I was 25 years old. To succeed, Surround yourself with the right people. The impact of the people we surround ourselves with cannot be underestimated. Being in the company of individuals who share our interests in progress, success, ideas, and philosophy can significantly contribute to our personal growth and lifestyle enhancement. It's crucial to acknowledge the profound influence that others have on us. There's a saying that emphasizes the power of influence. Never mistake the power of influence. Even if we believe that the people around us don't affect us, the truth is that they do. Whoever we spend time with influences our thoughts, actions, and ultimately, our success. Therefore, it's essential to intentionally choose to associate with individuals who inspire and motivate us. Being around people who engage in positive conversations, share valuable ideas, and are dedicated to personal growth can propel us forward on our path to success. This year presents an excellent opportunity to prioritize surrounding ourselves with the right people, those who uplift and encourage positive thinking. The people we surround ourselves with greatly influence our lives. Engaging with individuals who discuss philosophy and pursue personal growth can be immensely beneficial. Simply indulging in humor or the latest joke won't contribute to personal development. It's crucial to associate with individuals who read, succeed, and continually evolve. Failure to do so can lead us in the wrong direction. Despite encountering negative influences in many work environments, it's essential to counterbalance them. Developing a game plan is key. While we understand the importance of strategizing in sports, few of us apply the same principle to our lives. Yet, having a game plan is vital. The first rule of your life game plan is to never start your day without a clear plan. Know exactly what you aim to accomplish before beginning your daily activities. Though planning requires time and discipline, it yields valuable results. Once you've mastered daily planning, advance to weekly planning. Similarly, don't start your week without a clear plan. Imagine the difference it would make if you dedicated time every Sunday to plan your week. By doing so, you'll experience greater productivity and fulfillment. 
Furthermore, extend your planning to the monthly level. Develop a game plan for each day, week, and month. Aligning your days, weeks, and months within a broader plan provides a long-term perspective on your life journey. Creating and adhering to a game plan requires significant discipline, but the rewards are well worth it. As you commit to planning, you'll cultivate a new habit, one of time mastery and discipline, paving the way for a better life. Visualizing the future through planning may be new to you, but with practice, it becomes second nature. If you're new to developing a game plan, here are some tips to get you started. Firstly, understand that a game plan visually outlines your future, much like a spreadsheet does with numbers. Instead of numerical data, your game plan lists activities, essentially serving as a comprehensive to-do list. Secondly, the technique of creating a game plan can be applied to various time frames and projects, whether it's for a single day, a specific project, or multiple projects happening concurrently. To begin, procure a pad of graph paper, as game plans are most effective when laid out on graph paper. Next, create vertical columns on the paper, corresponding to the number of days your plan will cover. On the left-hand side of the paper, title a column, Activities. Under this heading, list all the tasks and activities you aim to accomplish within your designated time frame. Imagine you have one week to finalize a marketing plan, a substantial task, but essential nonetheless. Break it down into manageable pieces. Start by listing each component on the left-hand side of the page. Some tasks are prerequisites for others. For instance, you must have your market research results before determining your target market and your marketing strategy before creating a budget for collateral materials. By breaking down the project into pieces and deadlines, you can delegate effectively and focus on your own work while overseeing the rest. The culmination of this process is your game plan, a clear visual representation of your tasks. Keep it visible, in your office, at home, and in your journal, for constant reminders of what needs to be done. Following your game plan diligently is rewarding. Day by day, week by week, month by month, it guides you toward your goals. The discipline of developing and following a game plan is both challenging and exciting, leading to tangible progress over time. Witnessing your dreams and plans materialize into reality is an indescribable feeling. It's like painting a masterpiece on the largest canvas imaginable. It's creative, beautiful, and powerful. Having a dream and watching it come true through your game plan is an incredible experience. The beauty of creating game plans lies in the ability to visualize your future right before your eyes. On those challenging days when your energy and enthusiasm are low, your game plan serves as a beacon, reminding you of how far you've come and where you're headed. Ensure that your game plan encompasses more than just work projects. Allocate time for recreation, reflection, exercise, health, and spirituality. Flexibility is key. Adjust your schedule based on when you're most productive. Recognize your peak times during the day, week, and month, and schedule tasks accordingly. Working with your game plan and maintaining discipline are essential for its success. Ultimately, it's your consistent self-discipline that acts as the catalyst for achieving your plans and dreams. The question isn't whether you'll adopt fundamental disciplines, but when. With unwavering dedication to worthy disciplines, you have the power to transform yourself, your income, your attitudes, and your influence on others. You can shape opinions, influence leadership, and even steer the course of your nation.